Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Star Whale. You witnessed the truth that eventually spoke of, the truth that could overturn Panacone. And now, you wonder what kind of show we'll play next. Today, we are returning to Panacone to see what Venturing is talking about. Before anything, festival gifts. Ooh, hoo -hoo. people are going crazy about Genshin could never. I mean, what do you expect? It's a different game, so shut up. We got two kills I want to do, Aquaman and this guy. Galahar, or however you say his name. Okay, this is different. We got me being Aquaman, level 30. We got to his name, to defeat enemies. <laughs> Instantly? Instantly? What the freak? So apparently she's OP! During solution, using all techniques to attack, no enemies will instantly defeat them without entering combat. When knighting enemies, no take little points are consumed. That is so badass. So, hey you, you're not looking. Yeah, goodbye. And die. And then you die. And then I'll grab uh, two more bottles to grab. And you die. You die. And you die. And you die. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I got more to deal with. Hey, look, a dinosaur. Hey, what oh up? God. And die. What? No, the way she stands. I like the way she stands. And they bouncy. Get her ear ability. Let's see how that goes. Bleeding as the dawns do. Destined for oblivion. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, all this ready. I'm gonna press and it. Weep for the departed. Oh, bro became a domain expansion. Oh, I'm gonna strike. Let's try again. And then strike again. That is so cool. We need another one. Oh, we gotta strike it down. And I'm gonna beat this dude. So, what's your big deal with this? Ooh, we got some big dude gonna do it. Hey, you looking at me? Don't us! Okay, no more attack. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, you just kicked them? Damn! Alright, let's do this. My friends. Oh, what's that? Oh, Bull became um one punch man. You see how it's glowing? What's that do? Oh, that's what it does! Ooh, your E ability. I don't guess that heals, but none of us are like dead. How's this taste? Saving me won't earn you anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean she's full health. What am I doing? So we're back here, like, oh wait, hold up. There's a bottle here for me. Hold up. Let me collect this real quick. Let me yank you off. Jump, double up. I'm bursting out the police line. The shape of the stove is too mad. It should have been taking a little more chub. Hey y'all, maybe this current version is pretty good. But I still feel like this first travel is better, chub. Never mind, I still have to ask Lady Vang to chef, chub. She thinks chub. Damn. I remember I was here last time and Fire not Firefly. Uh, we know she we she can't be dead. Not just Firefly. Um Robin. When we woke up, she was dead, lying down. Uh now there's a Why are you looking at me like that? Are you looking down my boobs? Or you just like my appearance? See that like Kafka? Of course you do! Do me a favor and stay away from my boy. Or oh, what? I will suck you dick. Do I hear dick sucking? Shut up! Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. Famous singer Robin. Hmm. Could Robin actually? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death 
in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a Galaxy Ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. You mean Firefly? No, that's not possible. This we were told those two. Was a I was told there were separate people. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Hmm, that's just one side of the story. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows, right? I'm sure. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Okay. Venturing is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. Okay. Okay. Ugh, what kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. But ain't this a dream thing? Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Hmm. Okay. The Nameless would never associate with the IPC. Well, don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and okay. take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Hmm. A venturing okay. just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. Now what about that? What now? 
What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? Yeah, what is she thinking? Alright, I'll just come talk to you very slowly. The two black swans staring at each other. That's kind of weird. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. Okay. Ugh, okay. Playing it safe seems to be a smarter move. Insofar as things are presently concerned, yes. But what about the long term? Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Okay, top to bottom. Did death kill Robin? I don't think so! I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Do you think this is Kunesu Akawan? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But, without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Okay. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or... Everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. I don't have any other questions. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Hmm, yeah. Last night you do the chaotic dreamscape. Like, okay. Like, she pressed her boobs. She's like, go this way. Come this way. Oh. It's <laughs> Get lost. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Jeez, people. Okay, so let's just follow her around. It's kind of just two black swans. I mean, I'm in the dream world, so I would be her for this. Let's jog together. No, we are stuck here. Oh, dead bodies from before. It's kind of like last episode. So we're going that way? This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. What? What? Fox and Jenny just the boot of your ears, leaving the cool sensation that she has caused to you. There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you she unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, Hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. She touched me. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Uh, thank you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Okay. Callus, you said the whole thing to Jeanscape? Callus, Callus! You have you wanted trouble. 
We can't stay up in the memory zone, but Kelly is with the memory cube. I feel so hasty. Help! Marge, stay to come down. Stay the fuck down. Uh, do I need to get off the express and help? Not the moment, sure. Just let me know if you need me. The self hotel is real. Wall is very calm. Not much is happening. Hmm. I'm done. I finished pressing on my side. We'll show you meet. Clavis! God, it's great that you're safe. That lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been called out by the family. We're wiping off the with some family in the group. Let me so near the clock statue later. Uh, I mean... Wrap. Is Himiko okay? Is she okay? I mean, she better be okay. Okay, we're here. We're just gonna wait for the others to get over here. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Yeah, you should. Like, sit there and wait for a while. So, what should I think about this? Some time ago, deep in memory zone. I mean, okay. Perish that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? Ooh, my being black swan, days ago, ever fling mansion? Guess what we are recapping. <sighs> oh, what? It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. You're the marionette. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger. You'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All oh, things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't blame them. But my flames are faint, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. You. Cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword, for we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. <sighs> All right. 
I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. She says that as her hand gently sweats on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. You go, girl. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Nope, not yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that... Anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason? What you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So, I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> but who? How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? Oh, he's good. Not yet. Time. Oh, he's gonna strip off. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape already on it and the astral express is no enemy of yours i know that i just never expected to hear you say it what's next then the trailblazer's been taken by black swan will you go look for him no need for that no harm in mentioning that elio's only given me one instruction Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, 
Not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams? About everyone who died because of you. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light. And to burn. To keep on burning. Until I turn to ash. So, I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. Do we see that? Because we're in character, so we could probably see that. Puss and Day, Golden Hour. Now, this is before what happened. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to. Oh, the fairy girl's sad. Hey, calm down. I bet you're just still alive, girl. <sighs> I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do okay, what Dad. we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Hmm. Hmm, Avetrin is on guard against Archon. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and Aventurine? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine... Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, 
It's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. The Venturine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting a Venturine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I like that. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. <gasps> Yo, uh, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. I got a lot out of him, too. You... No, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay, yeah, I'll text it right now. Yeah. We collaborate. We decided to accept your request for collaboration. Wonderful. Your response came faster than expected. Like, holy shit. From now on, we'll be all in this together. Here's a small thing for our upcoming partnership. <gasps> what? That is a lot of money! What the fuck? But you should have be more busy with your money. But I'll take them all just in one time. Oops, I pushed it too early. Here's a little extra just to go look with a new wig. Oh my god, this is guys making me so rich. Just like accepting the family's going to sue Bobby's case under the world for as long as they can. So, her case though is secret between us. But the other case, that depends on what excuse they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave for now, and I look forward to our steady performance from you guys. Alright. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Yeah, let's start with Mr. Yang. How about Yang? Let's talk to you first. Aventurine said something that concerns me. He Go on. accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever. Oh, yeah. About her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Being sus. Hmm. Hmm. Does Aventurine has other plans? Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe, Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna see Mysterious Woman. Weird. I can't seem to remember. That fits the stereotype of a Galaxy Ranger to a T. Hmm. Eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Yeah. I don't. Well, I don't know. Okay. Now let's go to Himiko next. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's gotta be- Oh, Palela finished talking. That shit was done. Perhaps he's going for the hotel? An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Okay, perhaps he's going for the family? He's definitely going for the family. Hey, we know that. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Pinnacone, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Aventurine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Mm -mm. Perhaps he's going for Akawan? Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. and can't rush to any conclusions. Yeah, perhaps he's going for the Asterix. What? Against us? Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much 
and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. Yeah, no question can be drawn just yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Hmm, he's like that one, um... Was it my uh, could be a character where he uses money just to create something and then that's it? Is that how he is? I want Marge staring at the sky like it's beautiful. Oh, well, let's talk to you. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. Exactly! But she's still alive and well. Somewhere. Yeah! But everything's just some horrible prank. She's not 100% though. She could be alive still. We just don't know that. But where could they be? They are close to Firefly too. Because... Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Marge is thinking what we're thinking, actually. This is so cool. Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Okay. The... We'll store all the dreams back to normal. Marge, you do your home. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us. We're all outsiders from another world. Aww, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Out of chill. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Probably Dale's still Seems alive. we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Ooh, How good to see her? split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh huh? Aww. I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. All right, we're gonna get this done. Oh, triples with the ladies. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Honored guest. Oh. <gasps> he knew. He knew. That's crazy. I'd be embarrassed too. Getting stared out like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Well. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. I doubt that she's doing this though. Someone else is doing this. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. 
Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Oh, she knows. Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the Nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron, those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Oh Before my god. Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. That is something Beta would do. You know, this is the same voice actor. That is so... Like, I didn't know the same voice actors until, like, got revealed. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Take a drink. Oh, oh my god, this is interesting. At the same time, Hotel in the real world. Okay. I've been sit. watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. Well, caught the fuck I up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Hmm. <gasps> is that a chest? I've been the trying to find one. Are charmingly minimalist. I've been trying to find more chests. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you, what exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Okay, go on. Caution chain. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Sounds like Sparkle. Father, I 
dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever so they go, nice take it back. shall be met by an annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... Go on. They sought refuge in a land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms, children of the flame. This marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. When have thou, on the path of destruction, fear death? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Yeah. <gasps> what you saw? What happened? Oh, look at all that. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way... Yeah, look all it's that. like it's been erased. Who's done this? It's so empty. Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> unforgettable time together. But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome I'm thinking, do we get to see this character? And I don't need like, a later in the game? Ceremony. Like in Paragonia. I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then... You can enjoy the banquet for me. Hmm... Will she? I wish you... Unforgettable... Memories. Oh... Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? At the moment, on the other side. Okay. Other side? Is it me? Okay, what's going on now? A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department, and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Prusian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. What baby is that? Land of rock, but not... Water, 
Lightning, but not. Oh, uh, is this Akawan? What? But not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child, was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat? And the sound of falling rain. Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? Raining. It is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Oh. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> You came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. <gasps> Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. <sighs> Time to wake up. Gambler. <laughs> so this is about Alcoa. I mean, Adventure Line. One name. Yeah, this was, that was him as a baby. Ooh, a oh, baby. Heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Oh, Doctor Wayshu! I forgot he's here. Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They are still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony, using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> See? Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. See? I knew it. 
I mean, you guys probably do it too. It's all a dream. Maj even figured out. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this we murderer did. is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stammon was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... I gotta be careful. Incredible gambling. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but oh, it'd I see be a best bud. to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon there's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? Oh. Sunday. Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Am I being... Oh, oh that's kind of weird. We're here. Oh. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. The fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. 
hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Yeah, be quiet. As the sword unfolds, you have a chance to record a story from the other characters, POVs. When entering the character POV for the first time, the character will rather place the first in your team. You can check the fate of the to see the character's POV and ongoing mission or complete mission as in. If you need to change the POV to continue your story, you can select here for interface and burst. For detail, please see tutorial. Oh, click here. Oh, wait, hold up. So, how's mine going? Let me go back to my main thing. So, let's have to deal with his first fucking thing with mines. Okay, let me go ahead real quick. And there's a bird over here. Let me investigate the buddy. Let me pull you out. Hey, buddy! Can I pull you out, please? One button. I'm not trying to get you out, but you see him. There you go. Yeah, get off. Like, yeah. What a lovely song. Send out the disc and sweet music will play out the spinach up. So, if I put down something new, the other record player will play a new track too. See, so yeah, I'm off to sing the song to offer buddy, buddy's chips. Yeah, see you later. No, we do got some things to do with him. him. Snap his finger, he does that. And there's some chests here. How many is there? 27? Oh, this area is big, actually. I'm gonna stop it there so that I'll continue the rest of it. Oh, right, I'm gonna go there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you on the other side. And all that.